Hi everyone, my name is Michael Wiedenick. Today we are going to build a Max for Life device that can control a guitar pedal. Why do I want to do that? I'm a bit of a pedal nerd and a lot of those guitar pedals nowadays have quite an extensive MIDI implementation. One of those pedals is this, the Red Panda Tensor. The Red Panda Tensor lets you control all of those knobs and switches, but it also gives you some things that you that are not on the pedal, like uh, a way to control this pitch knob chromatically. I am actually working on a, a Max for Life device for this, and I will release that. But then I thought, why not share how to actually build a device like this? Because you might not own a Red Panda Tensor, but you might own another pedal, or you might own a hardware synthesizer or sampler that can receive MIDI control change messages. That way you can build a plugin like that yourself. And it's actually pretty straightforward, you will see. So what we're going to do today is build a device that can control those five knobs. So um, let me hook this up um, and then we will get started. I don't have a guitar at the moment, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm routing audio from Ableton through this pedal and then back into the, the computer. By the way, that's the, the sound I'm using. And I will now turn on tensor. First thing we're going to do is go to the settings, MIDI settings, and then turn on track and remote for tensor input and output. We will need a new MIDI track, I already have one, and we set the output, so down there, MIDI 2, to tensor. And then what we will do is go uh, in the browser to Max for Life, Max MIDI effect, and drag a new MIDI effect there. And then we will open it up. Okay. For what we need, we can delete all of this. And then we will go to the inspector. You can do that clicking on this eye or you use Control I, I guess on Mac it's Command I that opens up this inspector and then you see nothing um, because we need to um, show the patcher inspector. So click on this P up there and then scroll down until you find open presentation and activate that and then we will save this we will go to max for life objects and then take a dial here this is called life dial that's not a good name let's say this would be speed so we go to the inspector again. If it's not open, you click here. You have to have this selected. And then there's long name and short name and we change that to speed. All right, beautiful. We need to check out how Red Bender implemented MIDI for the pedal. So let's go to the website and download the Tensor manual. And here we see that uh, the control change number for speed is 20. So what we do now is uh, we need a new object. You can either click up there 
or you just press N and then we write CTL and we get CTL out here you get the list of things we need CTL out and then we put 20 because we just saw that we need to send this to 20 now the good thing is that by default those styles already send out numbers from 0 to 127 which is the range that MIDI has so we just connect that we connect um, we take this here and then connect the wire to this all right let's save this <clears throat> and now let's see yay do you see this it's already working basically it's as simple as that now what we're going to do is we're going to add um, dials for for time pitch blend and random um, but it's all all the same so we will just add a new dial we can copy with holding the alt key and drag so next thing is blend so let's see time is 21 pitch is 22 blend is 23 and 24 i will also copy this okay let's test this Speed is working. Pitch is working. Time is working. Plan working random working the thing is now we don't see anything here so what we have to do is um, we um, select all of those knobs and then we that was a, a right click by the way and then we add that to the presentation um, everything that's added to the presentation has this red rectangle around it so that's how you know and then we um, click down there presentation mode and I want this to resemble the battle a little bit so if you look at the battle we have those three knobs on top and then those two on the bottom all right and now save this and then we can already see here in the background that we have the battle so what we do now is we lock this then we freeze the device that's always a good idea save it again and then we can close it Alright, so everything's working. So as you can see, it's, it's really not that complicated. In the next video, we will talk about those switches and also those. That's it for today. See you next time. Tschüssi.